Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project is going to be replacing the grout inside this shower stall. Now whether it's a shower stall or a bathtub with a tile wall or whatever, it's the same procedure. Now the reason we're going to be changing it, you're probably asking why, and I'm going to bring you in there in a minute and I'm going to show you why we need to change the grout in here versus just sealing the grout. Now from this point, actually from probably about this point here, waist height up, is in perfect condition. But from waist height down is in really poor condition. Some of the grout is coming out and it needs to just be replaced. So I'll bring you in in a second and I'll show you why. Now there's a couple of different ways you can remove the grout. And the way I find is the easiest way to do it. One, you can use a hand tool and you can get in there and you can scrape it by hand. Or well, they sell a tool, it's called an oscillating saw. And you can actually get in there with a special bit made for grout and clean out the grout. I will warn you of this, it is a little bit messy, you do get a little bit of dust, so you want to prepare for it by covering up the shower stall floor and especially the drain. Now this drain here, we covered it with tape, so it's taped and it's got a cover over the top so we don't get any kind of, of, of the, the tile grout down into the drain itself and cause a problem. Alright, so this is the tool we're going to be using. Now, not that I'm endorsing this particular brand, this just happens to be the one that I'm using for, for, for this particular job. I have lots of different tools, but this is the one that I'm using for this job here. This is what they call an oscillating saw, and what it does is it does not spin like a normal saw, it just rotates back and forth very quickly. And this bit right here is made just to take the grout out of the tile joints itself. They come in different thicknesses. This one is a 1 16th. They actually, I think they come in 1 8th of an inch too, but I'm not 100% positive. You can check your big box store or, or of course Amazon to find out for sure. And I believe I even have this in my Amazon store down below the video. If you click on my Amazon store, you may find this and uh, you'll see it. I, I, you know, I'm going to put a clickable link in this video too, so you can just click on it and go right to it and take a look at it. Now there's other ways to do it too, and again I'm not endorsing this tool, this just happens to be the one that I picked up in a big box store. This is the tool that you would use by hand, and as you can see it's got a, like a, a very rough um, blade on the end of this so you can get in between the tile joints and you can clean away any of the residual that's inside there. I don't think we're going to use this, but we'll see how it goes in the, in the video. And lastly, we're going to have something like this, a scraper, to clean off any of the silicone that's in the, in the tile joints themselves, especially in the corners right here. Sometimes you'll find silicone in the corners that actually keep it waterproof right there. All right, so enough talking. Let's get in here, let's get started, and let's get this job done. Okay, so this is why, I hope you can see that okay, this is why we need to change the grout and not just seal it. We need to remove it and replace it with the new. You can see where it's starting to crack all the way through right here. See? As well as up here. All around. You can see it's starting to come out. And before the water gets behind the wall and causes any further damage, we're just going to replace it with new. All right, so let's get set up and let's get in here and let's get this job done. Okay, so we finished this wall. We finished this wall behind me right here. We still have to do the front wall there the exact same way with this grinder. We're going to come in here and grind it all out. Once it's all grinded out, we're going to come in here. We're going to clean up this mess that we have here of all the dust that's on the floor here. And then we'll come back and we'll grab this and we'll get this job finished.
Now, after we have everything all cleaned up really well, we came in here, we vacuumed out all of these joints right here because there's a lot of loose dust inside here as well. We took all that dust out of there. Now, I just want to point this out to you. When you're doing a uh, replacement of the grout, you do not need to take everything out of the joint. You can just grind it down partially, just enough to get the grout in there. Some places you'll see where it'll clear, go right through like this. Other places it won't. That's perfectly normal because the uh, the grout is is certain is thick in one spot and thinner in another. All right, so this is the grout that we're going to use. This is what grout looks like. I always buy the one that you mix yourself because I don't like the one that comes pre-mixed in the in the store. Uh, this is the uh, what's called a uh, a non-sanded grout, which basically means that the grout itself is good for a uh, it's good for a, uh, a joint size up to one eighth of an inch. Anything over an eighth of an inch, and then I usually recommend using a sand, uh, sanded grout. And what that means is that there's no sand added to this grout mixture here, where the other one does have sand added to it. Now there's different ways you can do this. You can use something like this, a float, to put the, uh, the grout into the joints. I like using a, uh, a spackling knife or a scraping a tool to get the, the grout into the joint as far as I possibly can. Now I'm not going to use this one because we're working in a tight spot. What I'm using is something like this because it's a little bit less working area and it's easier to use. Alright, so let's mix this grout up. This needs to be sort of like a uh, peanut butter type consistency. So let's mix it up and I'll show you what it looks like once it's mixed. Okay, now remember what I told you about the consistency of peanut butter? That's what it looks like once it's all mixed up and it's nice and nice and mixed up. You don't want it too thin and you don't want it too thick. And now what we want to do is we want to push the grout into the joints right here. And as personal preference, if you want to use something like this to push it in, or in this particular case, I'm going to use something like this to get all the grout into the joints. So I get a nice quick, a nice seal and it actually fills up the entire joint. Now I do have something down on the floor here, just in case we have a little bit of a mess. We don't have a, uh, a damage to the damage to the uh, to the tub itself or the enclosure wherever you wherever you're working. All right, so we're just going to push all this into the joints, and you want to make sure it fills in all the way. Push it in as far as you can so that the joint is totally filled. Now we'll come back in a second, but right now we're just going to concentrate on filling up all these joints right here. You don't want to let this sit too long because it will start to dry up and it will become very difficult to work with. So we're just going to do enough that you can that you can work it within the next 15 minutes or so before it dries thoroughly. And we're just going to keep on pushing it in so it fills the joint all the way up. You want to also make sure you have a bucket of water and a sponge so that we can clean it up. Make sure you push all the grout so that it thoroughly fills up the entire joint. And once you're fairly confident that you have the, the grout fully pushed into the joint, we're going to come back and we're going to clean up the residual all of the excess. Now remember what I said, you don't want to let it dry too too long because this will make it more difficult to remove it later on. So you want to have a bucket of water, a sponge, and you want to also have a clean cloth that after you clean the tile off you can buff it out and get that haze off the tile before it dries. Now as I said you can use something like this if you feel this will work better pushing the, the grout into the joint, but I find for small surfaces just a, a scraping tool or a spackling knife works just as well.
Now we're going to continue to work further down the wall. What you want to do at this point is wipe off any of the excess grout that you have on here. It'll make it a little bit easier cleaning it up later on. Now that we have the entire wall grouted from here down to the bottom, we're going to come back in here and we're going to clean this up before it dries. The worst thing that can happen is if this dries on here, you'll have no way of getting it off because it'll be like cement or it will be cement. So we're going to come in with a damp uh, sponge and we're going to wipe off all of the excess that's on here right now. We're not going to take everything off yet. We're just going to clean it up a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll do our final cleanup towards the end. Okay, and make sure you rinse your sponge frequently. I do want to tell you this, whatever you're using to clean this, it will be trash, of course, because it'll have all of that concrete in it, or cement, or, or uh, grout. All right, so we're gonna clean it up just like this. You want to rinse it frequently because you want to get all that grout out of the sponge itself. As I said, it's just to take off the big stuff right now. And we'll come back and do our final in just a minute. Okay, so as you can see now, we have our, our um, excess grout removed from the tile itself. Now we're going to take a clean bucket of water and a clean rag and we're going to come in and we're going to finish off these joints right here. We're going to just keep on rubbing on the joint until it matches the upper half that you just that you previously did not remove. All right, so we're just going to keep working it back and forth like this throughout the entire project, continually dipping the rag and cleaning it off so that way you don't have a lot of residual grout on the tile itself. We're just going to keep on doing it just like that. Okay, well you get the idea. We're going to continue this throughout the whole rest of the, uh, the shower stall itself. And now after we get it where the joints match the joints up on top and it looks perfect to you, at that point we're just going to let it dry for a little bit. Then we're going to come in before it totally dries. We're going to take a rag and we're going to come in and buff the tiles to get the dust, the, uh, the, uh, the grout off of the tile so it doesn't stick to it and make it more difficult later on to get it out. So we're going to continue doing the rest of the project, clean this all up, and you know what, let me bring you in, I'm going to show you the other wall that I actually finished already and that's in the process of drying right now. Now after this is all thoroughly dried, we're going to wait a couple of days and then we're going to come in and we're going to waterproof this grout joint so that no water can penetrate and get through to the wall below. Uh, I will put a video in here so that you can actually see it being done and another job that I did. I won't bore you with doing it on this one. I'll just link the video to it so you can see another project that I did. So let me bring in, I'll show you this wall here and what it's going to look like when it's finished. That way you can see this one here. I've already done this wall here. Let's move this so you can see a little bit better. As you can see those joints are nice and clean and I already cleaned the haze off the tile. Now this will dry for a few days and then we'll come in and we'll waterproof it. Okay, and this is after everything is all finished. We did seal the tile grout here with the sealer. And of course, as we showed in the video, you're going to wipe off any excess that's on there. Then you let it dry for uh, at least 24 hours before you use it. We caulked down the bottom along the shower pan itself. You can see we put the caulking down there and we just have everything sealed up nice and tight. And that's it. So as you can see, doing the tile grout is really not that difficult. The, the hardest part of the whole job is going to be cleaning the grout out of the joint itself. Try that tool that I talked about the, is specifically made to clean the, uh, the joints out. I will put a link down below in my Amazon store so you can check it out and, uh, and see if it suits your needs. All right, that jo this job is done. We're going to waterproof it, and then that's it. We're on to the next one. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see future videos, please subscribe. The button is down below. And when you, when you click on the subscription button, you'll also have a bell come up. And that bell 
has personal uh, adjustments that you can make to it that if you want to be notified of future uploads you can choose to do that or if you want to be occasional uploads you can do that as well all right as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one